Florida shooting, at least 17 dead in high school attack. At least 17 people are dead after 19-year-old man opened fire at a high school campus in Parkland, Florida, police have said. The suspect has been named as Nicholas Cruz, 19, and is a former student at the school who had been expelled. As the attack unfolded students were forced to hide as police swooped in on the building. It is one of the deadliest school shootings since 26 people were killed at a Connecticut school in 2012. Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel told reporters Mr. Cruz killed three people outside the school, before entering the building and killing another 12. Two people later died after being taken to hospital. It's catastrophic. There really are no words, Sheriff Israel tweeted later. Dr. Evan Boyar of Broward Health told reporters late on Wednesday that 17 people total had been taken to area hospitals. He added that Mr. Cruz was among those treated and was released into police custody. Three people remained in a critical condition and three others were in stable condition, he said. The victims are still being identified. Sheriff Israel said a football coach was among the dead but no names have been released. On Wednesday, the local public school district tweeted that students and staff heard what sounded like gunfire just before the end of the day at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Witnesses said that the suspect pulled a fire alarm before the violence erupted. Police and SWAT team members swarmed the campus and began clearing students from the school in Parkland, about an hour north of Miami, as parents and ambulances converged on the scene. We have already begun to dissect his websites and things on social media that he was on and some of the things are very, very disturbing, Sheriff Israel said. Just a horrible day for us said Robert Runcie, the superintendent of the county's school district. Worst nightmare. Many students said they thought it was a drill after hearing the fire alarm go off shortly before the shooting. Students told U.S. media they hid under desks, in closets or barricaded doors as loud shots rang out. One student, Bailey Vosberg, said, I heard what sounded like fireworks and I looked at my friend and he asked me if I heard that. Immediately. I knew. I didn't say anything to him, I just hopped over the fence and I went straight to the road that our school is located on, and as I got there there was just SWAT cars and police units, police vehicles just flying by, helicopters over the top of us. Cesar Figueroa, a parent, told CBS News his daughter was hiding in a closet when she called him. He told the news outlet earlier that he told her not to call him because he did not want the gunman to hear her voice. It's the worst nightmare not hearing from my daughter for 20 minutes, it was the longest 20 minutes of my life, Mr. Figueroa said. A teacher told WSVN that she hid in a closet with 19 students for 40 minutes, and that the school had undergone training for such a situation six weeks ago. What's the reaction been? Florida Senator Marco Rubio tweeted that the shooting was designed and executed to maximize loss of life. But he said that it was too soon to debate whether tighter gun laws could have stopped it. You should know the facts of that incident before you run out and prescribe some law that you claim could have prevented it, he told Fox News. Florida Governor Rick Scott said the shooting was pure evil, but also refused to be drawn into a discussion about gun control. There's a time to continue to have these conversations about how through law enforcement dot 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 we make sure people are safe, he said. President Donald Trump tweeted his condolences. How do previous school shootings compare? Wednesday's attack is at least the 18th shooting in the U.S. this year on or around school premises, according to research by Every Town for Gun Safety. It is the sixth school shooting incident in 2018 that has either wounded or killed students according to the advocacy website. Since 2013, there have been 291 reported school shootings in America, which averages out to about one per week. It is thought to be one of the worst shootings since 2012, when gunman Adam Lanza attacked Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. He shot dead 20 young children and six adults before killing himself.